Hey guys, welcome back to The Smoking Gun. And I know it's been a very, very long time since I've made one of these, but today we're finally back with another episode of Cigars in the Car. Today, we're gonna smoke Swisher Chocolates. Pretty interesting, I've been wanting to try these for a while. Um, we'll just see how it goes. I know I haven't made one of these in a long time, but you know, with everything going on, I just haven't had much time to, to do videos. So, you know. Get out of there. All right. So here's the cigar. It's a Swisher chocolate. Looks like your average Swisher. And you know, <laughs> it smells like, a, smells like a brownie. It really does. It smells like a chocolate brownie. Let's get lit up. kind of hurt. Oh. Oh. I was pretty nervous trying this thing. It doesn't, it doesn't, because a chocolate cigar doesn't sound very good. I know certain Maduros will have a chocolatey hint in them. But hmm. wow, it's pretty bad. Um, that's actually awful. This cigar. Um, I really was kind of hoping it would surprise me though and not be horrible, but it's just bad. It's really bad. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of these at all. Well, what does it taste like? I mean, it's a very, it's actually pretty harsh for some reason. Um, it gets really, really hot when you take a draw from it. It just leaves you a really bad aftertaste. It's like a really, ugh. I don't know. It just tastes horrible. It just tastes like you took a chocolate bar and just rubbed it in dirt and then just started eating it. That's what it tastes like to me. Um, but, you know, with Swishers at least, I actually like how they make their cigars. It's not like it's quality construction, but they do hold together better than some other ones. Like Dutch Masters, um, Backwoods, you know. <laughs> So it, I'll, I'll, I'll give Swisher that. I like, I like their cigars. They're good um, in terms of how they're made. The flavors, though, man, just really god awful. And the retro hill, the retro hill is like dying. I mean, you take the, you take a retro hill and you just want to fall over dead. It's really, really bad. You actually don't taste that much chocolate. You get a hint of it on your lips. It just tastes like a really dirty, disgusting tobacco in there. If you can even call it that. It also, it does have a very cigarette-y taste as well. It's not, it's not a great cigar. Oof. But what's something positive I could say other than the construction? Because these are con these are constructed better, I would say, than <clears throat> the cigars I already mentioned. Um, 
two for a dollar 49 you know that's pretty average but you know what these are just god awful these chocolate ones these are horrible well i'm trying to make these videos shorter guys but so i guess i'll i'll kind of end it here i don't know what really else to say this is the first time this has happened to me in a cigar in the car i have really no i no clue what to say about it other than it's just god awful everything about it is terrible i have this horrible like heavy dark chocolate and tobacco taste in my mouth it's really bad cigar mouth I mean, it tastes like someone stepped their foot in freaking chocolate and I'm licking it off of it or something. It's just, it's that bad. It's got, it's got this pungent, like vinegary aftertaste with that chocolate and tobacco. It's just disgusting. This is, this is way worse than I thought, <clears throat> than I thought it was going to be, honestly. But, you know, it, it's what you get with these cigars. It's fun trying them anyway, you know. I, I know it's not going to be a, you know, at a bay. But it's it's fun to try them, you know. So, I it's it's bad, but I'm not really surprised. Does that make sense? You know, I don't, I don't, I don't hate Swisher because of this cigar. Because, you know, it is what it is. You get what you pay for. All right, well, yeah, it tastes like gasoline with, and chocolate in my mouth right now. It's just, just terrible. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, I have a lot more cigars in the car coming. Um, and it's some pretty interesting stuff that you're going to see for the next upcoming Cigar in the Car videos. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.